Look, we all know Tom McFarlane has a big old sweaty man crush on Batman, so if any figure was going to justify being a part of the collector edition and justify the extra 10 bucks, hopefully it would be Batman. He's not worth it. Like, I'm just gonna say it now, he's not. Uh, so a couple of things to get off right out of the bat, right? One, the chest is a different color from the rest of the body. That's because the chest was green and then had black added to it. The rest of the body is black and they added green to it and it's two different types of green. We have a very pearlescent matte green and then a very shiny glimmery green. If the whole body was that green, it would have been kind of cool. That one is not. Alongside that, Batman's doing his best to convince us he's a sex doll with his big ol' open screaming mouth. Doesn't it just look great? Look at that. Get all the way in there, you can see the tongue. Ah. Uh, yay. Um, alongside that, it's just the standard Batman body. The arms have articulation, as you would expect. The legs have articulation, as you'd expect. There's nothing special about this Batman. Aside from the fact that it's a Green Lantern Batman, and that means something to someone. He does get a few good accessories, though. For instance, he of course comes with a lantern. That's really good. I actually have a pet peeve whenever Green Lanterns don't come with that. Um, he comes with these two kind of fireball Green Lantern construct effects. We saw these with Parallax before, but now you have two. You can put them on both fists, and you actually get alternate hands. That's the thing I ask for a lot with these multiverse guys. Give me a sec while I actually get them out of the package. Doop, 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 doop. So in terms of the alternate hands, you have this kind of open gestural hand. You have this kind of more clutching, angry hand. And then you have two, or rather you have a closed fist for this side and an OP grabby hand for the ring hand. This is the only alternate hand for the ring hand, but at the same time, Green Lantern, you figured they'd probably keep that hand closed for as much as they can so that they can actually use the ring. The alternate hands are nice, but that's really the only thing that feels like it separates this figure from a normal gold label figure. Um, sure, extra hands and the lantern. Okay, most of those are reused, and even the ones that aren't, again, a normal gold label figure up until this point would have had that stuff as well. And now we get to the part I always say with these collector's edition figures. The only thing here that you wouldn't get with a normal McFarlane figure is the stand and the card. The card is stupid. This is awful. We all agree. So, is the figure worth it? If you're just a super diehard Batman fan, sure. If you just adore the idea of a Green Lantern Batman, again, sure. But it wasn't too long ago where you got a Sinestro Corps Batman that basically had as many accessories and was so much better and more interesting. This is just the same thing again with a couple, and I do mean a couple, extra things of paint. And that is it. Once again, I'm going to say that these guys just aren't worth the extra 10 bucks. And... I know I'm still buying them right now because I can justify it with like, oh, well, I'll do a review. There's not going to be much longer where I'm going to be able to use that justification for myself. Oh, and by the way, no flight stand. Again.